going on and welcome back. So back at it again today. We are getting close, man, on the Whipple Supercharger on my 2016 Mustang GT Project Steptown. Super close. Uh, we're going to start the day. we got a few more things to do. Uh, I've got plugs. I've got to install the booster pump. And let's see what else. Um, that's, oh, and add fluids. I've got to add the coolant to the supercharger system and also to the engine. So, man, let me turn the camera around. Let me show you where we are at with the car and how close we really are. All right, so this is where we're at. Um, everything almost looks complete under the hood here. But like I said, we got a few more things to do and she'll be ready for the first start. But this is where the car currently is. Under the hood, pretty much everything installed uh, other than the fluids and the spark plugs. So, yeah, man, we are, uh, we are making some progress on this car for sure. Uh, and we're getting close to that first start. Get a little nervous because I've done a ton of work on this car and had it torn down and really hope everything was done right. I'm pretty sure, but you know, there's always that chance. But anyway, I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna get these plugs gapped, get them installed, and let's see if we can put some cooling in. So here we go, y'all. We have got everything buttoned up on the car. Got the spark plugs in, coils are bolted down, wires are connected to the coils. Got coolant in the degas bottle. We've also got coolant in the supercharger cooling system. And we're ready to go, man. We are ready to crank this thing up. Um, need to crank it up, turn the heat on full blast, and watch the coolant level for a little bit. And add if necessary once I shut the car off and it cools back down. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna let the car run and make sure the coolant level is what it is. Then we gotta get some data logs. Gotta get a uh, idle data log and a step rev to 3,000 RPM for Palm Beach Dyno. Now, what a step rev is, if you're not familiar, is you start off say 1,000 RPM, step it up to 2,000 RPM then step it up to 3000 RPM, kind of hold each RPM level for a little bit and then let off and then stop the log and then send it to the tuner. So that's where we're at right now. We are getting ready for the first start of my 2016 Mustang GT Whipple Supercharged T56 swap. Oh man, here we go. This is it. This is the moment. This is what I've been waiting for and a lot of you guys as well. So here we go. Let's get it cranked up.
there you go. First start, Project Stepchild with the Whipple Supercharger. Uh, and as you saw, I did do the step rev. So I've got the idle log, the step rev, got that log, and I have sent that in to Palm Beach Dino. And Rob Shoemaker has given me the go ahead to go for a three to five minute driving log or to drive the car normally and to capture a three to five minute just normal driving log. So in order to do that, I've got to get the front bumper back on the car. I've got more work to do before I can take this out. So he responded a lot faster than I expected. So I've got to get busy and get this. This is actually a couple days later. Um, I've got to get busy and get this bumper on the car so that I can take a drive and I'm excited to do that. Unfortunately, no wide open throttles at his request so that'll come i'm not too worried about that but i'm super excited to drive this car man i can't wait so i gotta get busy so enough talking enough jacking my jaws let me get this bumper on and i'll check back in with you guys when i get it on there all right y'all there she is project stepchild got the bumper back on and she's ready to drive down the road man but unfortunately I was planning on filming driving today, you know, the first drive. Um, it wasn't going to be anything, you know, crazy or whatever. But I did want to get the first drive. Unfortunately, it is raining. And with me not being familiar with the car now, with the Whipple Supercharger on it, I'm not taking any chances in driving this thing in the rain. No way. Not until I get used to it. Um, I'm sure I'll be fine, you know, but um, I just don't. I just don't want to do that um, is what it is hopefully next couple of days I'll be able to get her out and do that first driving data log I was really hoping to do it today so that Rob could look it over and if there needs to be any revision that he could send it to me and I could uh, move forward and probably the next one would be I would assume some kind of pull so Man, it really sucks. I was hoping to get that done this week, but I guess it's not going to happen. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, I'm excited to drive it. We'll get there. You know, I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to stress too much about that, but I really want to drive this car. I cannot wait to do it. But, you know, things happen. But we are ready. Got the battery tender on. The battery so that you know we don't run out of juice or anything like that I have a tendency to not crank this car enough to keep the battery charged so got the battery tender on there and we got a few other things coming for the car that I will show you I will do an install on um, nothing major but something of necessity I think so anyway this is where we're at. She is dirty. She is dusty. My gosh, this car needs a bath in the worst way. So we need to get to that too. We need to, we need to clean her up, man, and get her looking good. But unfortunately, no first drive in this video. Um, it will be coming. The first drive will be coming. And yeah, then I'll give my impressions. You'll be able to see my first reaction. Um, obviously not to you know a super strong pull but i'm sure even normal driving with a little bit of throttle i'm sure this car is going to get pretty exciting so man i'm ready it's been a long time coming you guys know the ones that have been around you know for a while on my channel you know this has been a long time coming i've had this blower for a long time and it was supposed to have been on this car already but is what it is can't change the past we're only moving forward and the blower is on the whipple is on the car so we are now ready just gotta wait on the weather you know Ugh. frustrating but you know that's how it goes sometimes but that is gonna do it for this video like I said I wanted to get the first drive in this video as well but you know just couldn't make it happen you know the weather had other plans for me so it is what it is yet again but anyway we will get there we'll get that first drive and i'll probably do the first drive and maybe first pull 
in the same video we'll see we'll see how it goes but we've got some other stuff a couple things coming for the car still that i will definitely share with you guys and uh yeah she is almost ready man we got to get this tune squared away hope everything goes well with the tune and yeah hopefully within the next week or so she will be fully operational and making some serious power that is my hope we'll see how it goes but anyway like i said i'm going to end it here i hope you like this video if you did hit the like button if you haven't subscribed please do so the first drive is coming and we'll see you on the next one